Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG.net server, playing Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm going to apologize right now because I think this is going to be a fairly short episode just because I'm having some issues here, but uh, hopefully it should be pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and put my helmet back on. Uh, so in the last episode we made that island over there, that's going to be the Thaumcraft Island, and this island over here is going to be the Blood Magic Island, but it's not going to be a, 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 a craft a buildy episode it's going to be a crafting episode but let's first come down here um yeah hook told me that uh, there was something up here all right let's take a look at this from up here do you know what it is <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the book uh let's see 100 percent more ducks says the book uh, thanks for the ice. Yes, he asked for some ice, so I spawned up a packed ice world with uh, light blue glass and uh, harvested that for him. He said, I thought I should return the favor by giving you what your intro suggests. More ducks, of course. I did try and contain them in a pen down below, but a few escaped. So, uh, <laughs> to me, what does this look like? This, to me, looks like a duck tail up as it's going down under, trying to... Uh, uh, get at the food that's under the, the surface of the water. But uh, there's a duck over here. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> there's another duck over here. <laughs> Let's look at this duck. Hello, duck. Oh, he's looking down. <laughs> so one, two ducks. There's a third duck. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got eyes. Oh, I like the eyes. Oh yeah, that flashing. Yeah, that's the server being obnoxious to me. Oh, hey, there's another duck over here. Oh, there's a pen of ducks. <laughs> oh, these are great. <laughs> so uh, that, that he's looking down. He's looking at... I love the button eyes. So there's three over there and three over here. <laughs> okay, I don't see any more. We got the quick speedy up night. There we go. Uh, there, we've got six ducks down here, and uh, the 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 one up here that uh, is kind of pointing down. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm gonna keep them. They're great. I had seen this one up here, and it took me a bit to figure out. Oh yeah, he's 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 head down in, in into the the uh, water. Uh, and hadn't seen the others. <laughs> Those are perfect. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to be doing a buildy uh, episode. Uh, we're going to do a crafty episode, which will be interesting considering that I've been getting bursts of lag. Yeah, see, I just clicked this and it's taking a chunk of time. There, it opened. Yeah, um, we've been trying to, to see what's up with the server, and some of the problems may be mine. What? Me? My problems? Me causing a problem on the server? Never. Except today. Um, I, I crashed it. With Samsel's help. Uh, we took a villager, one of the Thaumcraft villagers, and I've been grinding him through my little uh, spawner, tossing him into the uh, the smeltery to get emeralds, and also using the trade station from uh, the railcraft to do the trade for the Thaumium ingots. And that works out really well. In fact, if we take a quick look, Thaumium, no, not Thaumium, Thaumium. Yeah, see, there's almost 2,500, 2,400 uh, Thaumium ingots tr by trading with the, the villagers. And that works out great. And Sansa wanted that, so he said, sure, here, let me spawn a copy, spawn a copy, gave it to him. And he's killing his villagers, or was killing his villagers on spikes. Uh, problematic. Uh, so yeah, we crashed the server and had to roll back the uh, last millennium, but that's okay. So one of the things I can do here, I can craft all sorts of wonderful, fantastic dimensions, and I've been having fun with it. Uh, let's take a look at the high-end dimensions that, uh, or dimlets that I've got here. Let's see, rarity six. Uh, I've got saturation three. Don't need that. Uh, liquefied emeralds, 
350,000 <laughs> RF per tick to create that. Uh, liquid Molten Gold, eh, don't really need that. Resonant Ender, uh, that's been interesting. I, I borrowed the uh, Bedrockium uh, Dimlet from from Brink and and uh, filled up a drum with that, which was very nice. Uh, what I really, 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 really want, UU Matter. I want one of those, and it's findable. Uh, in fact, uh, Nonsanity found that, and I think uh, Link also found one. Uh, but I I've, I spend a whole bunch of time. In fact, you can see I've got lots of Dimlets in here, uh, and I've been rescrambling them. I spent mm, three hours in a a rarity six dimension uh, looking for dimlets when nobody else was on the server, so I didn't care about tanking the TPS for them. You know, new chunks that that struggles that makes the server struggle. But uh, nope, didn't find any. Found found the uh, the gold and found the um, the emerald one, but uh, and a second one of the the resonant uh, uh, ender. But pff, nope. So, I'm going to go the route of making the dimlet. And to make the dimlet, I am going to need... Uh, what am I going to need? I'm going to need a dimlet workbench. Dimlet workbench. This bad boy. Uh, I think I got everything. I don't have the machine frame. So let's go ahead and wait for the server to catch up. While it's doing that, I'm also going to need a liquid absorber. Let's hit shift. Shift says place this, place this block on top of a liquid and it will gradually absorb all this liquid in the area. And that's good because I'm going to have that liquid absorber suck up a whole bunch of UU matter and that will get me what I need. So I am missing an unknown dimlet. They are in here. Uncanon. I just need one. If the unknown dimlets come into here, they get fed in and they get processed, which is nice, but not exactly what we're looking for right now. So there's the dimlet workbench, and that will allow me to deconstruct dimlets into parts, and then I can reconstruct new dimlets from those parts. And that's where I need the, the liquid, uh, there it is, the liquid absorber. I do. That's why I created the second frame. So I've got those two. Come to me. Yeah, this is going to be sad. And it's nothing that that the that we've been able to to track down specifically that's causing this. Uh, it's just you know you got a lot of people with a lot of things and and it can cause some issues with that. So you you matter. Uh, I don't. Where did I put that? I had a tank that I got from Nonsanity that has 128 uh, buckets of UU matter, which is what I need. I think, did I bring it over? Yes, I did bring one of those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see about making some other things here. Let's see. UU matter, UU matter, UU matter. What happened to my UU matter? I had a tank. Oh, here it is. This is my UU matter, and I stuck it on with the draconic. So give me that. And I had two of the resonant ender dimlets, so I'm going to sacrifice this one to make my UU matter dimlet. Alrighty. So what I need? Uh, let's see. I need some blocks and a little bit of power because I'm going to run this in the, the crawl space below. So let's go ahead and grab uh, some of this and conduit. Let's grab a few of these and let's zip downstairs. Zip. See, that's the sound it makes. Yeah, I've got my dimension editor so I can delete the dimensions and this is my dimlet scrambler so I can feed in dimlets and it'll re-scramble them. Uh, but what I'm looking at doing you know I don't need power. I don't need power at all. Okay, so we'll just set it up right here. A boop, a boop, a boop and I'm going to use the floodgate from BC Factory and I used that earlier as I was pumping in the gelid cryothium. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's also put 
some there. <laughs> so the UU matter doesn't flood around, which would be bad. Uh, if I take my tank and stick it right there, and where's my wrench? There's my wrench, smackety smack, and wait for the server to wake up, and that should turn it orange, and it should start pumping the, the stuff in. Yep. And it should pump out a block of UU matter right there. Good. I'm going to block these up. I think it doesn't do diagonals, it's just in the, the, the six directions. All right, so that's the UU matter. And I need my liquid absorber. Here we go. Oh, come back to me, wrench. All right, so my absorber, I'm gonna shift click right there. And it says zero, 0.1%. So up there in the the way layout, you can see it says 1% absorbed. And it's going to slowly pump out the UU matter into there and get sucked up. And it's got the nifty little particles going. So that's going to take a chunk of time. But nicely enough, I don't have to do anything more with that. But let's take this Dimension Workbench. And I'm going to slap him. You know, I'm going to slap him right here. Why not? No, 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 no. Let's slap him right there. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Before we do that, I'm going to infuse him uh, because that way I will get back 100% of the bits and pieces out of this dimlet. So I'm going to go do that right now, and we'll do a, a quick uh, jump in the, the video while I don't need those bits. Shards. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fuse this thing. And there's the last. Okay, let's snag him. Zip again downstairs. Zip. 19%. All righty. Let's see. You go there. Thank you very much. Now, I need to take one of these. Since it's going to be a liquid dimlet, I'm going to sacrifice a liquid dimlet. And let's put that right there and deconstruct. Okay, wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I always wonder, am I doing things right or am I missing up or, or what? I don't know. So this should give us all the bits and pieces that we need here. So uh, the Dimlet Control Circuit Rarity 6. And each time when I, I think Rarity 6, I'm thinking, okay, let's see. Uh, the six are Rarity, Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Twarkle, uh, Twi Twilight Sparkle. Uh, but it's not that Rarity. Uh, let's see. Oh, this goes here? Yes, that goes there. And this is the Advanced Energy Module, and that should go there, because, you know, zap it is uh, The Advanced Memory Unit. I'll stick that there. Liquid Type Controller there. There. No, this needs to be an unknown. Did I get two liquids? No, there's the base part. That goes there. Um, oh, this is the type of... And this is a liquid type, not a material type. And then I need whatever the source thingy is going to be. And that's this block. Once, so oh, 25%. Cool. Alrighty. So we need to let that continue doing its thing. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to craft something else over here. What am I going to craft? Well, let's see. Wood. There, I've just crafted two sticks. Isn't that impressive? Yes! Precious sticks. Uh, nope, but that's not what we're going to make. We are going to make a draconic bow. I really like this bow. It is a very nice bow. The wyvern bow, that, that's fantastic too, but the, the draconic even more so. So that needs a whole bunch of things, but that requires the bow of the wyvern first. And that needs stuff, and that requires the shiny reinforced bow. Alrighty, that's just two shinies, a stick, and you wondered why I made sticks. Uh, and string. I have no sticks. Do you know why I have no sticks? Because I've been taking all the witch sticks and turning them into uh, the... Um, my matter compressor assembler so I can make uh, singularity, so I can do... Uh, multiple locations with my ME. 
and so I have no sticks. Precious sticks. And so I, that's why I needed to craft them. But as soon as I drop the stick in, it's going to get sucked up and it's gone. <laughs> so uh, we've got that. Let's go back to Wyvern and the bow of the Wyvern. So I need Dracon the Wyvern core, mana dust, draconian blocks, emerald ore. I don't think. Oh, I do have one here in the system. Alrighty, so there's my bow of the wyvern. Nifty, nifty, nifty. And since I've got that in my inventory, it'll shh power it up. Let's take a quick look. It has no arrows, so it won't fire anything because it doesn't have infinity on there yet. Oh, I love infinity. That's an excellent enchantment. Uh, but that's not what we want. We want to make the draconic one. Draconic one. So I already made these. Uh, made the those. I think I've got everything. Maybe not the dents in the system. Let's see. I do. Well, hey. All right. So shift for details. Um, base damage three. I don't know what's the difference between that and this. Uh, let's snag that out. Let that go away. Uh, why am I wanting this Draconic Bow? Well, because I want to be able to kill dragons faster. Your draconic. You can see I've got four blocks. <laughs> That's it. And so I definitely want more. Uh, you are... Did you fire those? Alright, I need to... I thought I shift with this to change the type. Oh no. There, that's... this is... are you shooting? Oh, it's just the delay of the server again. Nope. Anyway, we can see two of the arrows up here. Oh, those are funky looking arrows. Those can't be the normal arrows. Anyway, um, I need to fiddle with this because I was used to shift right clicking and it would change the type that the bow was in and I'm not seeing that right now but uh, anyway there's another method let's see if I use the draconic piece yeah okay base damage so it's all the way up velocity modifier let's crank that all the way up why not auto fire no no I don't want it to explosive power cool shockwave power arrow of draconic fire no clue Magnification. Oh yes, that's what I was looking for. Yes, I definitely want magnification. Because watch this. Not much magnification. Let's go up and uh, kill things. If the server will be nice and let me do that. Yay! Let's go up. Oh, and of course it's raining. Because, you know, it is the time for rain. So if I were to shoot a duck... Oh... You know, it's it's been uh, two or three updates since I made one of these, and the the zoom is not nearly as zoomy as it was. It's also looks like it's actually behaving like the the gravity is affecting it, because the previous version I had it was like a railgun. You just pointed at whatever you wanted, and it just went pooh and hit. So you could zoom in on a skeleton way over there and shoot it and it would get nailed. But still, uh, it needs a bunch of enchantments on there and that's going to be very nice. But first, let's go take a look and see if the that liquid absorber has uh, sucked up all of the UU matter. I'm guessing... Percentage, what do you want to guess? I'm saying... 82. Survey says 54. <laughs> okay, I'm off. So I'm gonna need to wait for a while until this has absorbed all 100% of the UU matter. And 100%! Woohoo! So let's snag that. Come to Gruck. Do not be destroyed. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the, the, when you, you get that little burst of server lag and you wonder, oh crud, did I mess it up? And why am I going up? I want to come to here, to the Dimlet workbench. Alright, workbench, let's put 
that right there. And this should give me the UU Matter Dimlet. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. This is now mine. <laughs> and achievement. Oh, no, let's look at the achievement. All those parts and Dimlet Master. That is who I am. I am the Dimlet Master. Bow to the Master of Dimlets. Okay, so I want UU Matter. And let's see, I want uh, liquid. No, I want the liquid world, or is it the liquid dimension? The terrain liquid dimension, that's what I want. Give it to me in my inventory so that I can work with it. Thank you. And then I want the none, so there's no effects. And then let's take a look at efficiency. Uh, let's grab you. All right. So if we take a look here at the world, let's put the the UU matter dimlet next to the terrain for the liquid dimlet, and let's put effects none there. And then these efficiency dimlets, they cost a whole bunch per tick to to generate, but it's minus twenty percent of the RF to run that dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and use all of those in here. It says it's fine. Let's go ahead and call this Grok UU. And there it is. It is going to take a million RF per tick <laughs> for a whole bunch of ticks, but it's only 30 RF per tick when it's running. That's very, very doable. Okay, okay. I am mighty happy with that. Let's slap that in there. And it's going to take forever in six days. You just watch that power just go, thump, <laughs> and it's gone. Uh, this is not even 1%. So this is going to take a good chunk of time to uh, generate. So I'm going to call it a night and let it uh, generate overnight. Uh, that is just fine. In fact, uh, do I want to? Yeah, let's go over here real quick to the big ball O power. And if we run around here, uh, it's saying it's about 58k going in and out, but uh, let's see what the power ball says. Uh, I've got 1.1 trillion RF. And are we going up? Yeah, we're, we're still actually going up. So, already, uh, we are actually doing very nicely with that. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, you, you matter. You, you matter means I can do so much. What can I do with you, you matter? Well, I can make lots of things. Uh, the the one of the main limiters for me jumping to some of the the end game creative pieces, the creative tank, the creative uh, power uh, energy cell, lack of ir iridium, and I've been running the the actually I do you want to go see what my UU matter processing looks like sure I really want to well let's go and let's oh that's right I was looking at nothing let's go oh hey I've got this nifty thing let's go to the cathedral zoom off to the cathedral and this is my system here. Uh, those are the quantum, yeah, those are the quantum solar panels, and these are the ultimate hybrids. And as this has made uh, UU matter for me, if we take a quick look, it's ticking along quite fast. And occasionally it will go really fast as there's a little blob of, uh, uh, yep, right there, <laughs> one of the, the, uh, I keep thinking snack packs. No, uh, scrap boxes comes in and it just goes boom, really fast. Uh, but that's because of all this EU power that I'm piping in during the, the, the day. And you can see my tank is empty because <laughs> I have nothing in there. Uh, I want as much EU matter as I can make. So as I've been getting the iridium, I've been making these these ultimate hybrids and that takes a stack. And then eight of those will make one of these with another two stacks. So that's 10 stacks, that's 40 stacks of iridium right there at a really slow clip. 
So what I'm really, really, really hoping is that I can just hook up a bedrocking drum of UU Matter here and make them really fast. That would be fantastic. And what do I have over here? I have four of the top tier solar panels. So they do 32K RF per tick. Uh, so that's what, 128 uh, generated during the day here. Very, very nice. That's why my, my Powerball has broken a trillion is because of these four guys. And that's because I've been able to create dimensions with steel and glass and lead and all the other stuff I'd already mined up a whole bunch. Ah, yes. Things are coming along very nicely here. Yes, indeedy. I've got my cool armor and I can fly. I like it. I've got these guys coming along very slowly. Uh, the UU Matter... <laughs> when it's finally assembled uh, will become a nifty world for me and I will have all the UU matter I will need oh I'm liking it I'm liking it a whole lot so what do I make out of the UU matter that will make the the bursts of lag on the server any better I don't know but anyway this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG.net server Plain feed the beast infinity evolved. Expert mode. Booyah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.